So Tesla just recalls 54,000 vehicles because of those vehicles won't do full stop in front of a stop sign. So they recall them uh, because this is kind of uh, illegal. You need to do full stop, completely stop the car if there's a stop sign. No matter if there's cars or pedestrians in front of you or not, you need to do that. If you drive, you, you probably know that. But those, those Tesla cars, uh, if you enable the force of driving uh, beta, it won't do a full stop. Instead, they, they, they do a rolling stop, which means they will slow down to around 2 miles per hour and then observe if there's any obstacle, pedestrians, cars, bicycles in front of uh, them or in the near the intersection. If there's no, if there's no, they, the car will start accelerating. So that's how we call uh, rolling stops, which that's not illegal in many states. So uh, they need to recall those cars. But what's actually interesting is force of driving system is just a software. If this is a software's problem, you should just, uh, they can fix this by a, soft, a software update. Uh, they probably don't have to recall a car, but why they did that is because of the syst their syst how their system work. It's probably like coupled with um, with the car's hardware, and there's only some specific models they will have these problems. So it's very interesting. Interesting. It's very interesting. I thought this would just be a software problem, but no, it's the kind of a hardware and software problem, like hardware software interaction problem. Interesting. Okay, so so far there are sixty thousand force of driving cars uh, using Tesla system. Uh, that's interesting, and this feature is still in beta. Uh, well, the reason is uh, because of there are still a lot of edge cases. The Tesla is currently not able to overcome. But co according to Elon Musk, Tesla should be able to do the full self driving car, full self driving. Uh, which is like level four self-driving uh, autonomous vehicle. Uh, in terms of there are five levels: uh, level one, level two, level three. Which Tesla is now is like a level two if you use its uh, inbuilt version. If you use four self-driving car, it's probably like level three, but it's not a perfect level three. And according to Elon Musk, they probably were able to achieve this next year uh, at level four. So this is very exciting. Because I believe they pr may be able to do so because they're col collecting so much data from so many different Tesla cars, right? And uh, yeah, it's extremely challenging just now. Even you look at the vehicles, um, force of driving cars now, uh, you can perform quite well. Um, you rarely see any problems, but uh, they will always have some like a one, two, like problems, incidents per one one million miles for those uh, autonomous vehicles. So that's a kind of very educated, very rare situation. For example, one like a balloon, one basketball just uh, being thrown in front of a car. How how does a car react to that? So that's a kind of th scenario you don't have in the your simulation. So it's very wide that force of driving car force of driving it's so hard to achieve it's so hard to achieve okay so that's it for today if you would like to receive more uh, technology reviews technology news analysis like these don't forget to subscribe other than that i'll see you next time